Hi guys, it's Mrs. Henderson here. We're getting ready to start our first math lesson. Um, so I wanna put that up here so you can see it. So you should have out, um, it's in module four. It should be your first paper, lesson 28. It says homework. And on the back side, we should have lesson 29. So we're going to be doubling up a little bit to try to get through this, okay? Also on our Facebook page, I posted the instructional video. It's a video that we usually watch on the smart board together before we start our math. Um, so hopefully you watch that first so you can kind of see what we're doing today. First of all, need to make sure you put your name up there. Remember, the first thing I do is always the same. I pick up my pencil and write my name, okay? So make sure you put your name up there. I'll write mine while you are writing yours. All right. So we are working on number bonds again. And today um, our number bonds are going to equal 10, okay? Um, remember that's called like decomposing numbers when we're, when we're taking them apart, okay? That's like subtracting and then we're adding them together, we're, we're putting them together. So what we have to do, remember um, the whole uh, the whole number is here, and then these two are the parts, okay? And they lead, they have paths that lead to the number bond, okay? It's like a fact family. So we have, in this domino, we have one, two, three, four, five, and they have the five there. And the bottom one, we have one, two, three, four, five. So we will write five in this bottom one. Pretty easy, okay? Over here, uh, we have our whole number is 10, okay? In this domino, we have one. In this next domino, we'll count one, two, three, make sure you're counting with me, please. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll put nine here. As we know, if we have nine and we add one, now we have 10, okay? All right, let's look at this one here. I'm going to do this one with you and then I'm going to let you do the rest by yourself, kind of like we would do in class, okay? So it has none of the numbers are filled in for us. So we have to figure out, first of all, um, let's figure out what the whole number is, okay? So we'll count together. Count with me. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to put ten here. Okay, now we're going to figure out the two parts that make that whole number. So up here we have one, two, three. So we'll write our three here. Make sure you're writing your numbers the correct way. I know a lot of times we still write them backwards, so really try to pay attention. And then down here, we'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll write seven there. And I know if I have seven and I add three to it, eight, nine, 10, I will get 10. Okay, so I'm going to let you finish the rest of that on your own. Okay, so go ahead and turn your paper over and you should have lesson 29 on the back side. Okay, these are some word problems. Again, I'm going to do the first one with you and let you, I'll read this one to you on the bottom. So follow along. It says, Jack found seven balls while cleaning the toy bin. He found six basketballs and one baseball. Fill in the number sentence and the number bond, okay? So even though it's hard to tell, these are the basketballs. So we'll count one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six basketballs and one baseball. So this has seven equals six plus one. And then we just have to fill in our number bond. Again, this number is the whole number. And then these two numbers are the two parts that make that whole number because they travel down these paths to get there. Okay, so we had six and one. 
Now also remember kiddos, I like to underline sometimes the important information that we need or circle. So there was the seven. Jack found seven balls while cleaning the toy bin. He found six basketballs and one baseball. Okay, so I had seven, six, and one. We used all those numbers. It's just up to you to figure out the order that we put them in. Okay, let's look down at this bottom one. I'm going to read it and then hopefully you can do it on your own. Okay, so Jack found seven mitts and two bats. Mitts is just another name for like your glove that you use in baseball. So seven mitts, two bats. He found nine things. I'm gonna put a rectangle around that because that's the whole number. Fill in the number sentence and the number bond. Okay, so you can count them up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we have two there. Now this sentence down here, okay, it's a little different than up here. Up here it had the whole number equals the two parts. Down here we have the two parts equals the whole number. So I'm gonna put the whole number here for you to help you out a little bit, okay? And I'm gonna let you do the number bond on your own. This is where we put that whole number. This is where we put the parts. Okay guys, good luck with that. And uh, parents, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.